Three cancer survivors arrive for a look round at the new state-of-the-art facilities. It's a unique partnership between Cancer Research UK, the Christie and the University of Manchester. And it's out here that scientists will win the war against cancer. The Manchester Cancer Research Centre has cost £28.5 million to build. It's situated just over the road from the Christie Hospital. It's hoped its unique location will help to attract researchers and scientists from around the world to work on groundbreaking cancer treatments. Luke Garatley from Stratford was diagnosed with cancer in 2009. Every treatment's different depending on what it was. And the one I had um, is quite a angry chemotherapy, um, quite a violent one. And I, I always felt really horrible, um, always knocked me out, always made me sick. Every cancer's different and research like this, currently carried out at the Christie, will move over to the site over the next few months where it's hoped personalised therapies for patients can be developed. Tumours are all different from one patient to the next and you know we need not to take a one-size-fits-all approach but to really choose the right uh, treatment that uh, fits the kind of characteristics of, of that patient so that hopefully it'll be more effective and less toxic. Amber Irvine from ashton on line helped to dig the first piece of ground for the new building in 2012. She's made a full recovery after being treated for lymphoblastic leukaemia. The help and build new centres like this so then other people who get cancer can get better cures and get better quicker. You know how fortunate is Manchester to have this. As we know patients travel far and wide to come for cancer treatment um, to Manchester so to have this research centre so near is, is brilliant. In Greater Manchester alone around 36 people are diagnosed with cancer every day. It's hoped this new centre will help improve their treatments and prolong their lives. Steve Saul, BBC Northwest Tonight, Manchester.